Hi again. Today in our afternoon meet, we read the book, Interrupting Chicken by David Ezra Stein. This is one of my favorite, favorite books to read in the beginning of kindergarten because just like this chicken who tends to interrupt, we're very similar to them. It's very much like us in kindergarten. Sometimes we really want to share something and we want to blurt it out. Sometimes we have to share something and we want to click the unmute button to talk. Where's my unmute? Here he is. Right? And that's normal. We have to learn how to be patient, just like Chicken does in this story. So I want you to click the book and I want you to check out Interrupting Chicken. And this is whenever you see a speech bubble, that means that whatever it's pointing at, see how it's pointing down? It's pointing to the character that's speaking. The character is like, it, it's chicken. It's the person or item or thing that the book's about. And this is Jack. So, Interrupting Chicken. This book is called Interrupting Chicken, right, Papa? Yes, now please, don't interrupt the story. What does interrupt mean? Hmm. Hmm. If you know, have your adult write it in the comments. If you don't, make sure you really pay attention when you're watching this story because they think you'll figure it out pretty quickly. This book is called The Interrupting Chicken by David Ezra Stein, interpreted by Jill Gillen. This book is called Interrupting Chicken, right, Papa? Uh, yes. Now, please don't interrupt the story. It was bedtime for Little Red Chicken. Okay, my little chicken, said Papa. Are you ready to go to sleep? Oh, yes, Papa, but, but you forgot something. What's that? asked Papa. A, a, a bedtime story. All right, said Papa. I'll read you one of your favorites. And of course, you're not going to interrupt the story tonight, are you? Oh, no, 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 Papa, I'll be, I'll be good. Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel were very hungry. Deep in the woods, they found a house made of candy. <gasps> nibble, nibble, nibble. They began to eat the house until an old woman who lived there came out and said, What lovely children. Why don't you come inside? They were just about to follow her in when... Out jumped a little red chicken and she said, Don't go in. She's a big bad witch. So Hansel and Gretel didn't. The end. Chicken? Yeah, yes, Papa. You interrupted the story. Try not to get so involved. Oh, I'm sorry, Papa, but she really wasn't me, no witch. Well, you're supposed to be relaxing so that you can fall asleep. Let's try another story. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be good. <clears throat> All right, let's try Little Red Riding Hood. Take this basket of goodies to Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood's mother. Don't stray from the path. The woods are full of danger. Little Red Riding Hood skipped along through the deep woods. By and by, she met a wolf who wished her good morning. She was about to answer him when... So the little red riding hood didn't. The end. Chicken. Oh, yes, Papa. You did it again. You interrupted two stories, and you're not even sleepy. Oh, I know, Papa. I'm sorry. But he was a mean old wolf. Yes. Now, let's get back into bed. Okay, Papa, let's try one more little story, and I'll be, go I'll be good. Okay, well, let's try Chicken Little. Chicken Little was hit on the head by an acorn. The sky is falling, she thought. 
she went about to run off and warn Goosey Lucy and Ducky Lucky and Henny Penny and everyone on the farm that the sky was falling when... Go jump the little red chicken and she said, don't panic. It's just a little acorn. So a little chicken didn't. The end. Chicken. Yes, Papa. You did it again. Oh, Papa, I couldn't let that little chicken get all upset over a tiny little acorn. Please, please read one more story and I promise I'll fall asleep. But chicken, said Papa, we're all out of stories. Oh, no, Papa, I can't go to sleep without a story. <laughs> then, said Papa yawning, why don't you tell me a story? Me? Tell a story? Said the little red chicken. Oh, okay, Papa. Well, well here goes. A, 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 a story. Bedtime for Papa. Bye, chicken. That's me. Once there was a little red chicken who put her Papa to bed. She read him a hundred stories. She even gave him warm milk. But nothing worked. He stayed wide awake. Oh. <laughs> Papa? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Well, well, good night, Papa. Sleep tight. The end. Yikes. He did interrupt a lot, didn't he? What does it mean to interrupt? Is it kind to interrupt? Mrs. Stoop, you just interrupted my video. Perfect timing. Is it kind to interrupt someone, Mrs. Stoop? I lost Mrs. Stoop. She can't hear me. Mrs. Stoop, can you hear me? I can. Uh, you are not going to believe this, but I am videotaping right now about interrupting chicken and you just interrupted my filming wow. and you're on the screen. So what do you say? Is it kind to interrupt? But yours was an accidental interrupt. Let's pretend that for real you interrupted because you wanted no. to tell me something. I'll even turn the camera so you can see Mrs. Stoop. Mrs. Stoop, how does I'm, it feel to interrupt? I'm so sorry. Maybe you feel a little embarrassed? I do, I oh. feel like, oh no. But you know what? That was an accidental interrupt. There's a difference. That It means that she didn't mean to interrupt me. She just, uh, accidentally did and that's okay i forgive you mrs stoop thank you i appreciate that uh, again i'm so sorry oh it's okay it happens to the best of us it happens oh, to me yeah. too i know i've interrupted you before right yeah that's true yeah all right so i hope you enjoyed interrupting chicken and we're not going to interrupt during virtual kindergarten right mrs stoop that's right all right have, have a good weekend <laughs>